What's the justification for giving somebody unlimited power, or just enormous power? I've always been uh, somewhat fascinated by the figure of Joseph Stalin. Uh, he strikes me as the epitome of a person who has concentrated the power of defining reality and making meaning um, itself. He got the closest thing that a human can get, in my opinion, to absolute power of life and death over everybody. That was an actual process that took place over many decades. How Stalin very slowly, methodically, patiently, and relentlessly concentrated this power into his hands. Um, what ultimately is the source for that power, for his power. I'd say that, little interruption there, I'd say that the origin of this power is the idea that Stalin knows best. Stalin will save us from catastrophe. Whenever they the secret police arrested and denounced somebody and tried them, they were generally convicted of causing enormous suffering to other people. And on the basis of those crimes that they had committed, they were to be sent to the gulag or shot or whatever, um, in the interests, basically, of harm prevention. Um, if you've ever seen or read the transcripts of these interrogations, they're always the same. Look at the terrible things that you've done. You've questioned our leader. If it weren't for our leader, we'd all be in a horrible situation. The only thing that stands between us and hell on earth is Stalin. Uh, if, we, uh, if we don't have him, then there's nothing but catastrophe. And if you impede his ability to rule us, then uh, you will be the cause of catastrophe. That, at bottom, in my opinion, is what Stalinism is. Stalinism is. It's just the idea that Stalin is the savior of the human race, and without him, we're all in hell. Um, Stalin is the one who offers salvation. What is salvation? Escape from suffering. Um, you have opposed Stalin, therefore you are causing human suffering. This is all on you. Um, that, to me, is pretty much sums up the case for any dictator ever. Um, why blindly follow me? Because I'm far better than the alternatives, which are generally made out to be something akin to, well, hell itself. If you set yourself up as the harm um, or the suffering reducer, you have arrogated to yourself pretty much limitless power.